Hello everyone. As you probably guessed, I'm going to review my top five reasons that Joseph Smith was not a polygamist. These are not ranked in any particular order. Here we go. Reason number five, scripture. Polygamy is not in any of the scriptures that came from Joseph. The Book of Mormon specifically condemns it, and arguments that there is a loophole to that are faulty. The LDS Church claims that polygamy was revealed to Joseph while he was translating the Bible, but Joseph's translation adds nothing to the biblical accounts of polygamy, which are not favorable. You would think that there would be some alterations, especially since Doctrine and Covenants 132, Brigham Young's polygamy permission slip, says that God commanded the Old Testament patriarchs to marry multiple women. That is not reflected in Joseph Smith's inspired Bible. The Book of Abraham would have been a natural place to find polygamy, especially if, as critics claim, Smith just made up the text. But again, there's nothing. And of course, both editions of the Doctrine and Covenants approved by Joseph had a section about marriage that declared that the crime of polygamy was not part of the church. Reason number four, denials. It's often overlooked by LDS scholars that many people deny that Joseph was a polygamist, and that these people had a much closer relationship with Joseph than any claimant of his alleged polygamy. Joseph himself denied it and condemned it. His wife Emma denied it, and who would know better? LDS historians say that Emma vacillated in her support of polygamy, but that's just their attempt to reconcile Emma's consistent denials with the statements of polygamists who decades later said Emma knew. Joseph's brother, Hiram Smith, was the prophet, patriarch, and co-president of the church. While all that survived from Joseph is vague denials, Hiram railed against the damn fool doctrine of polygamy, which the devil himself is not such a fool as to believe. He told the elders that if they were found practicing or preaching polygamy, he would spoil their fun by revoking their licenses and kicking them out of the church. William Marks, the president of the Nauvoo stake of the church, said that Joseph told him a few weeks before Joseph's death that he had been deceived by people in the church who were practicing polygamy and claiming they were not. Which moves us nicely along to number three, Brigham Young lied. We know that Brigham Young lied about polygamy. He secretly married his first plural wife in 1842 while pretending to be a monogamist. He regularly lied in his speeches at church conferences in Utah, including manufacturing stories to support his claim to the leadership of the church. A great example was his 8 October 1866 attack on Hiram Smith, where Brigham told a story about how, in 1842, Hiram humbly pled with Brigham to be let in on the secret of polygamy, and Brigham relents after exacting promises from Hiram that he will never fight against it. And Brigham says he never did. Of course, Hiram would not have to plead with Brigham, his subordinate in the church hierarchy, to learn anything. And despite Brigham's assurances that Hiram accepted polygamy with tears of joy, Hiram continued to preach against it. In the same speech, he said of Joseph, I never knew that he denied the doctrine of polygamy. We know that Brigham led a careful revision of the history of the church, including fabricating statements from Joseph supporting polygamy and removing statements condemning it. You can see the details in some of my other videos. Those aren't even including the false doctrines Brigham invented, like blood atonement, Adam-God theory, etc., or the lurid accusations of Emma trying to murder Joseph multiple times. The number two reason Joseph was not a polygamist is actually a critical look at the evidence for his polygamy. Polygamist apologists frequently say that there is overwhelming evidence that Joseph was a polygamist, in fact, you get the impression that it's a foregone conclusion. You needn't bother to look at the evidence yourself. Perhaps that's because when you do look at the evidence, you find that it's almost exclusively testimony, people saying that Joseph was a polygamist. The accusations during Joseph's life are from his enemies, who accused him of pretty much everything to tarnish his reputation. The claims from Mormons that Joseph was a polygamist all came long after he was dead, and after Brigham Young took control of the church and made polygamy an official doctrine. But whether it's affidavits from plural wives of powerful Mormon leaders, or newspapers from people conspiring to kill Joseph, everyone who claimed he was a polygamist had an ulterior motive. Let's look at some of the evidence that is not testimony. The Joseph Smith Papers website has an essay on the subject. It says that Joseph Smith wrote letters to explain and defend plural marriage. Joseph Smith also dictated or wrote blessings and a revelation that obliquely addressed the doctrine. That sounds impressive, 
But when you actually follow the footnotes, what do you find? One of the letters, the infamous happiness letter, is actually a newspaper article by Joseph's enemy, John Bennett, which he said that Nancy Rigdon said came from Willard Richards, although the LDS historians shamelessly title it Letter to Nancy Rigdon. The letter does not mention polygamy. The other letter is in Joseph's handwriting to the Whitney family and also does not mention polygamy. The blessings don't mention polygamy. The claim that Joseph obliquely addressed the doctrine just means that the scholars want to interpret his words to support polygamy. The alleged revelation purports to be from Joseph Smith to Newell Whitney on how to perform the plural marriage of his daughter Sarah to Joseph. But in a pattern familiar to those who study the history of Mormon polygamy, the earliest known versions appear 30 years after Joseph's death and are written in an unknown handwriting. Indeed, there are mountains of evidence for Joseph Smith's polygamy, but all of it's garbage, and no apologetic sophistry can alchemize it into good evidence. You might ask, dear viewer, what would I consider good evidence that Joseph Smith was a polygamist? Well, for starters, anything from Joseph in his handwriting, or heck, even within his lifetime, saying that he has multiple wives, or that God considers polygamy acceptable. But, of course, the best evidence that Joseph was married to multiple women would be children. This would be the case either way, if, as some claim, he was a lecherous debaucher, or as others claim, he received a revelation from God telling him to have children by multiple wives. There are several lists of Joseph Smith's alleged wives. There are only a few who had children around the time when Joseph could have been the father. DNA testing has shown that none of them were Joseph's children. Of course, you can have sex without having babies. But Joseph impregnated his wife, Emma, nine times during their marriage. She was carrying their last child when Joseph was murdered. And many of the women who claimed to be married to Joseph and claimed to have had sexual relations with him later had children by other men. If a man is married to and sleeping with 30 plus women, as some lists claim, I would expect some babies. Claiming that Joseph arranged abortions or something similar is sheer desperation. There's even less evidence for that than the marriages. Granted, it's possible that there were children that have not been found or who died young and left no descendants to test. But we are not seeing what we would expect to see if Joseph was a polygamist. To summarize, polygamy is absent from or specifically condemned in the scriptures Joseph gave. Joseph and his family denied that he was a polygamist and repeatedly condemned polygamy. Brigham Young was a known liar specifically about polygamy. The evidence for Joseph's polygamy is about as strong as wet tissue paper, and Joseph never had children by any alleged plural wife. Some of you might find these reasons more or less convincing, but taken together, they should cause any rational person to reconsider the traditional Mormon claims of Joseph Smith's polygamy. I'm not saying that these reasons prove conclusively that Joseph was not a polygamist, but the evidence against Joseph being a polygamist is at least as strong as the evidence for him being a polygamist, though not as voluminous. Anyone who treats the theory that Joseph Smith was a polygamist as fact is either ignorant or dishonest. If you ask me, it's clear that the evidence is in favor of Joseph not being a polygamist as Joseph, Emma, and Hiram Smith all testified. If you have additional reasons to add to this list, please let us know in the comments below. I hope you found it enlightening to hear the top five reasons why, when it comes to polygamy, I believe Joseph.